Hello, I'm here to review uh, the next assignment in this programming class. Uh, we're still in module one. We're coming off uh, completing all the notes and the example problems. Uh, so just to recap, uh, I see one, two, three, uh, even though it was example problem three, there's really been four times that I've drawn upon some participation grades. So there were some example problems where you just build it and you'll get full credit. All right. Uh, then we, we had an, an assignment with the knowledge check that really dug on, dug in and, and, and had to do some really drawing of, uh, of the flowchart and the um, arithmetic a little bit. Um, so now we're ready to write two programs that will have a flowchart, will have code, and you'll have to then turn in the console application. So in the assignment, simple secret control problems five and six, the reason it's called five and six because some, some I'm using one through four up above as I increase these numbers, okay? So uh, I'm expanding and going into uh, this problem. There is going to be a location where you're gonna have to go to the uh, programming web resource. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, you see, you'll see you see that link right there. Um, so I am going to lecture a little bit <clears throat> on the tail end more so how do you get the document or the screenshots into a word document again so you make sure you're we're, we're turning in this virtual a little bit so um understand i will do a little view of the the, the assignment as well so you can find find it on the first line weeks module one assignment uh simple controls control structure and we're going to be using this site to submit other word document with your results so i'm going to right click if you're not already there you can go up to the toolbar uh and i'm already logged in okay so lab 2122 followed by bobcats drill into the module one and scroll down okay so um as i go down to the um assignment section you see uh it right here Okay, simple circuit control structure. I'm gonna right click and open in new. Okay, so that's gonna open up in, in a page where I'm now gonna conduct an overview of this particular assignment. All right, uh, again, there's two directions. One is directions in the classroom and the other one is direction virtual. You're following the virtual direction. Uh, but I first wanna talk about the grade sheet, uh, throw that out and, and review it real quick. Um, you will be creating two different visual basic programs, okay? So if I, I open that tab real quick and look at that, you can see the title here that says Programming 5, and you see the title here, Programming 6. Programming 5 uh, um, guidelines kind of uh, mirror uh, Programming 6. So we have the same um, uh, information. Programming 5 is worth 50%, Programming 6 worth 50% with a, a total of 100 there. So as I look at this, um, this the guidelines, uh, putting creating the flow chart for problem um, five, where you're going to have the uh, the the system flow chart, the program flow chart, and the studio code in a three bound three together. Okay, that's ten points. Flower box five points. Uh, correct input, correct output, displaying, and then the program runs. And you can see those values out of the 50. So uh, this is for the most part. Uh, what I'm looking for, you'll have a Word document. You can have screenshots of the three things for five and the screenshots in the three things for six. So I'm now going to move over back over to the assignment page <clears throat> and just realizing uh, there's, there's, uh, I'm asking you to read to set the stage. One of the key things I'm going to talk about is the Word document right here. And you're going to have to create a Word document. This is the file name with your first and last name on it. So uh, there's two problems. There's problem five and six. I'm now going to jump down into five, but please, you have to read to set the stage. Uh, you see a table here, okay? The first side of the table uh, is dealing with the problem. This is the application problem. Uh, then there's teacher's notes. I'm giving you hints on terms of I'm helping you and I'm providing you what the output should, should be. Uh, and then I go on down below what needs to be supported here. Uh, but I do say, um, you know, there, 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 there's gonna be three outputs here. And I encourage you to go back to your past programs and look at the code, okay? So I'm giving you the flow chart for this problem. It's right here. You're gonna have a name, regular sales and, and sales sales. There's three pro, um, processing steps followed by simply 
uh, outputting the page. So in some sense, this right here is the same program I've provided you in the notes. If I go back to the notes and look at the um, meaningful programs up here, right here, meaningful application programs, this was a link I actually wanted you to look at these problems and look at the, look at the flow chart. Well, you're now seeing it here. Okay, you're seeing that same problem here. So this, you're going to have to recreate this flow chart. And then finally, the desk check. During runtime, uh, you're going to have to enter in some inputs. Okay, you're going to have a name input, you're going to have a regular sales, and you're going to have the sales sales. Okay, and so you then your output, I'm not giving you the output number, but the output, as you see here, is a question mark. That's That line item is output. So understand, I, I've kind of dissect that output over here a little bit. And so you can see the uh, salesperson's pay does show up here. And then, and look at the pay dot to string um, and you see the um, C for currency. So I, I, I reviewed this with your last program as an example of output. So all you have to do is copy and paste that in there. And hopefully you understand those concepts where you're writing, con uh, you're, you're writing to the console, you're saying potentially uh, hello, a little bit different here. You're saying then that variable name and you have an output. So this, this output actually looks a little bit different. And so in my teacher's notes, I always say that, hey, you put your own little twist to this. See if you can't change this output so it reflects what you think the user should be seeing, okay? So I'm providing you with an output. Why don't you go ahead and then tweak it a little bit and, and, and see what the, how it comes out when you run the program, all right? So that is problem three. And when you're done, you should have a flow chart. You do the snippet of the, uh, the, the code and then do a snippet of the the console application. As I teardrop down to the next problem, you then will have, it mirrors the top, but just different problem, okay? The structure and the directions are the same, all right? You'll be creating a visual basic program, simple secret control problem of six, okay? So you'll have a folder and you'll have an application. I, once again, I've got teacher's notes and I'm giving you hints on how the output should look. Okay, but it once again, maybe you could tweak it a little bit. Okay, so if you look over here to the right hand side, I say output Celsius degree, Fahrenheit Celsius degree. Well, I kind of have that here in my notes. There's there's the text that's showing up that will display that it'll, it'll display the Celsius and the Fahrenheit, and I'm giving you the format. All right, so uh, understand that. Um, why don't you tweak it a little bit? I'm giving you something run it, look what I give you, and then think about how would the user want this output to look like? What would the user want this want to see? What do you want to see, okay? You see the flowchart in the middle. You'll be asked to duplicate this flowchart with a system flowchart, a program flowchart in Studio Code. Um, and so that, that, again, this problem right here was part of the notes if I fought back to the area. Um, it's in this link right here. Okay, there was three programs in there. And I, again, I'm now using that to, to do this. So once you've done all, all both programs, um, as you look at the directions out at the bottom, I have some in the classroom and then I have some virtual. Uh, and so you're going to have to uh, follow those directions to create that file. So I'm going to give you a, a look, okay? I have opened up a new document, all right? I've then gone, watch this. I've then gone file, save as, and look at my name when I look at file, save as in this window. I called it simple secret control structure problem five and six, and I'm giving you my, my name, but it should be your own name, all right? And you should be saving it right in the program folder, okay? Uh, if, if I continue, look what I have here. I have at the top, I have my name on this Word document. I have the word image, like it was gonna be an image of the flow chart, image of the vis visual vector code, image of the, um, um, the program five console window. All right, and then that's, I write, repeat that. So this could be, uh, it could be two pages, could be three pages, because you're doing uh, these images. If you want to um, make the image a little smaller, you most certainly can. So uh, this file then, if I flop back to the website, uh, this file should then be uploaded into the Dropbox right here uh, in the assignment. And so you have to dig down, find that file in your uh, document program and submit it if you want to write a comment and then uh, hit the OK button. So this concludes me reviewing the simple seeking control structure five and six.